Hello, Vanity Fair. I'm Terry Crews, and I play Sergeant Terry Jeffords on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm going to be recapping the last five seasons of the show, up to the 108th episode. Brooklyn Nine-Nine follows the cops of Brooklyn's 99th precinct as they solve serious crimes and get in some absolutely ridiculous shenanigans. First, Jake Peralta. He's like a sweet, dopey little puppy that's really good at fighting crime. Captain Raymond Holt runs the Nine-Nine, and he's probably the most deadpan man alive. Second in command is the physically perfect Sergeant Terry Jeffers. Terry loves yogurt, justice, and talking in the third person. The Nine-Nine is also home to Detective Amy Santiago. She's actually not that bad. Detective Charles Boyle is a lovable weirdo who's obsessed with food and Jake Peralta. And Boyle is in love with Detective Rosa Diaz, who's mean as hell. Gina Linetti is Captain Holt's assistant. And last and also least are Detectives Scully and Hitchcock. Got it? All right, let's go season one. The Nine-Nine has a new captain the no-nonsense walking rule book Raymond Holt. Holt is the complete opposite of the Nine-Nine's goofy golden boy, Jake Peralta. Everyone is desperate to impress the new captain, especially Amy Santiago. Jake has a crush on Amy and bets her that if he can make more arrests than her, then he gets to take her on the worst date ever. Jake wins the bet, but their date gets cut short when they're forced to go on a stakeout. But that turns out to be kind of like a real date. Boyle is head over heels in love with Rosa. Boyle gets shot in the butt protecting her, but she still doesn't love him back at all. So Boyle moves on and meets a woman named Vivian who loves food as much as he does. And they get engaged, but Vivian wants to move to Canada. So they break off the engagement and Boyle starts secretly hooking up with Captain Holt's wild assistant, Gina. We also meet Scully and Hitchcock, two human garbage disposals who have the lowest number of arrests in the 9-9. Scully is actually an amazing opera singer and Hitchcock's biggest talent is his ability to take his shirt off in any situation. Meanwhile, Terry is working on getting back into the field after having a scare in the line of duty. Terry's afraid of getting hurt or worse and he doesn't want his twin baby girls to grow up without a father. Amy goes on a date with her old boyfriend, Teddy, which makes Jake super jealous. Jake finally admits to Amy that he has actual feelings for her, but before Amy can figure out her own feelings, Captain Holt sends Jake undercover with the mob. On to season two. Jake returns to the Nine-Nine after his time undercover and Amy and Teddy are full on boyfriend and girlfriend. Jake is not happy about this and he briefly rebounds by dating a defense attorney named Sophia Perez. But that ends because cops and defense attorneys don't always mix. Everyone finds out Gina and Boyle are doing the nasty and they cut things off, which somehow leads to their parents getting married. Rosa gets her own task force for a crazy drug named Giggle Pig and she starts dating Captain Holt's nephew, Marcus. Jake and Amy are paired to go undercover together on a fake date and end up kissing twice. After they return back to work, they kiss for real. Terry love love. <laughs> we meet Holt's nemesis, Madeline Wunsch. Wunsch will do anything to make sure that Holt is completely miserable. So she promotes him to head of NYPD Public Affairs, which means he's leaving the 99. No! Season three. Jake and Amy are officially an item and they're keeping it a secret from the squad. Without Holt, the precinct is taken over by The Vulture, a trashy detective who spent most of his career stealing credit for other people's work. But Jake, Holt, and Gina secretly work together to catch a serial killer, and Jake uses the win to get Holt back as their captain. Yes! Scully and Hitchcock mistakenly get put into a major drug case and end up getting held hostage and actually end up hero. Terry and his wife have another baby girl, Ava. Terry now has three kids to support, and Terry's stressed out. Boyle begins dating Genevieve, a fellow foodie who's in prison for insurance fraud, but with Jake's help, Help, they prove her innocence and set her free. Rosa and Marcus break things off 
and Rosa starts dating a lunatic named Adrian Pimento. The two of them get engaged. That was fast. But Adrian has to go into hiding when Jimmy the Butcher Figures tries to have him killed by an FBI informant. Amy goes undercover to prison to try and find out who Figures' FBI informant is, and the squad teams up with Captain Holt's old partner, FBI agent Bob Anderson. Anderson with two ends, but Bob's actually a mole for Figures, and he tries to kill Holt. Terry stops him and saves the day. Go, Terry! The police take out most of Figgis' empire, but not Figgis himself. Figgis threatens Jake and Holt's lives, and they're forced to go into witness protection in Florida. Season 4. Jake and Captain Holt are living next door to each other in Florida, and they've gone full Florida. The two come up with an elaborate plan to lure Figgis to them, and with the help of their squad, they take him down. When the squad gets back from the Sunshine State, they're all put on a night shift. Boyle and Genevieve adopt a baby boy named Nicolaj, and Rosa and Pimento almost get married. Jake and Amy move move in together and Gina gets hit by a bus and gets pregnant by Boyle's hot cousin Milton. Terry is the victim of racial profiling by another police officer. That's some heavy stuff. Holt is shaken when he finds out his mother has a boyfriend and Scully and Hitchcock still done basically no work in years. Jake and Rosa try and get assignments with Lieutenant Melanie Hawkins, but it turns out Hawkins is a dirty cop and she frames Jake and Rosa for bank robbery. The two of them are sentenced to 15 years in prison. Season five, we here, baby. The squad is doing everything they can to get Rosa and Jake out of jail. And Boyle's hair turns white from the crippling anxiety. But Captain Holt makes a deal with a mobster named Murphy and the pair is released. After returning to the 9-9, Jake realizes he isn't ready to re-enter the line of duty. Good for you, Jake. Take care of yourself. Rosa breaks up with Adrian and gets a girlfriend. Jake helps her come out as bi to her parents, and after years of cheering on Jake and Amy's nerdy romance, the squad helps Jake finally propose, and Amy says yes. Gina returns to the 99 after her maternity leave, and her and Terry help Holt with his campaign to become the new police commissioner. The mobster Kingpin Murphy is back, and he threatens Holt's husband, Kevin. Holt is freaked out, and he sends Jake to live with Kevin in a safe house, where the two go insane watching Nick Cage DVDs and eating pizza rolls. Jake messes up and puts his and Holt's lives in danger, but Kevin runs Murphy over with a car and saves the day. Charles starts a food truck, which gets set on fire. Amy passes her sergeant's exam and gets her own team, and Scully and Hitchcock work on eating their body weight in office snacks. Well, there you have it. 108 episodes of Brooklyn Nine-Nine in seven minutes. Now, excuse me, I'm gonna go do Terry's trademark tiny steps. <laughs>